All right, so this is kind of in the same vein here. Um, a three-story steel frame building is being renovated and is having an additional story added to the top. What is the best placement for the additional story's steel moment frame? So there's a couple of interesting things stated there. This is another one of those ones where we probably have to look at the answers before we get too deep into it. But right off the bat, the steel moment frame is telling me something there. Yep. Right? So let's look at the answers. All right. A, along the perimeter. So that's where the moment they're saying to put the moment frames. Or B, uh, around the elevator shafts. C, over the existing moment frames. Or D, at the corners. All right. So when you look at this, what do you notice? Well, I, lo I look at it and I see, hey, you know, if we were designing a brand new building just, off, um, just from scratch, there are a lot of all those answers would work, you know, along the perimeter, the elevator shafts, the corners, they could all potentially work. But what the biggest thing is we are adding on to an existing structure. And when you do that, the best place, and your engineer will love you if you do this, is to try to keep the lateral resisting frames um, in the same line as what's existing in the building already. So right off the bat, what we're really saying is there's an existing building. It doesn't make sense to try to do a different structural concept right. on the addition. You want to keep the concept of the structure uh, consistent all the way through the building. Right. So uh, you would just do it right above uh, the current moment frame. Yes, as so much as we can. Now that we've been talking about moment frames for a second here and assuming everybody knows what they are, why don't you take a quick second and tell us what a moment frame is in this context. Okay, um, well we have lots of different uh, ways that we resist lateral forces, whether they be wind or earthquake. And one of the favorite of architects is the moment frame, typically built in steel. And the beams are connected directly to the columns. And so it's a very clean connection. There's no X's, there's no cr any kind of cross bracing to interfere with your uh, space planning. And so it becomes a very popular, uh, popular lateral resisting system. The, the thing is, it's not the most efficient system. It's not the cheapest. It's not in terms of structural behavior. It's also, it doesn't uh, resist as well as say, for example, providing like an X bracing. So or a concrete X bracing is literally when you have on this in section uh, like an actual X. Yes. Right. Yeah. And so you know it's great if you can figure out your programming so you can hide it in a wall or around the elevator shaft and such. But you know a lot of times these buildings they don't stay exactly where they are and they change over time and you don't want um, future owners to open up a wall and say oh no. Right. Uh, if if I'm trying to put a door right here, yes, that's going to be a nightmare uh, right. for somebody down the road. So in this, like, uh, in, instead of it just being like a couple of bolts holding this uh, beam to this column, uh, which would be more of a pin connection, right. you're talking about either it's a whole lot of bolts yep. or it's actually all welded together. All really. welded together. Um, so when you see moment frame, it's not exactly that it means welded, but it means that it's something like, like it's pretty seriously connected. It is. What it, you know, one of the biggest clues you'll see is that the top flange of the beam, so the top part of the beam, and the bottom flange of the beam, there's a more robust connection between them. Um, so that, yep, so that the connection, it doesn't, it prevents rotation is what we call it. So instead of a pin connection, we call it a fixed connection. So if you imagine if this was just like some bolts there and this is there's that uh, wide flange over there and they're not connected at that top flange and the bottom flange, that's a pin connection. Right. But this would be a moment connection. Right. And so, you know, one of the big differences that moment, uh, con that connection is actually very expensive. A lot of times we have to have iron workers on site doing because uh, they're welding everything they're welding and, yeah. field welding everything and so it's fine if you're you know 10 feet above ground but a lot of times they're welding these things 200 feet ab above the ground and, and so there's a lot of safety issues yes. it's a lot, uh, uh, the extra cost of all the safety gear and all that stuff that has to be there's that put in. Too. plus the welders what? are making a pretty yeah. big bank yeah they are uh, and they're standing around on site waiting for that steel beam to get put into place where they can then weld it so yep. you're paying them for while they're waiting around and it's a very expensive way to go the pin joints much much faster of assembly much cheaper but 
they're a pin joint, they're a pin so they're pin. not going to get you. You're going to have to do something like right. the X brace or some sort of shear wall system that's going to help with that lateral force. Right. And then I think I saw a uh, problem recent uh, uh, test problem recently about it as well. These welds, they're also very prone to, you have to think about the weather conditions. Uh -huh. If it's too cold to weld, there'll be someone sitting there with an industrial heater heating up the steel so that it's not too cold um, to weld. So otherwise, you'll introduce cracks and such. There you are welding <laughs> in uh, the you know, 40th floor in uh, Minnesota. Yes. And that's, you're heating all of Minnesota in order to keep that, <laughs> yeah. uh, that thing just warm. To, yeah. Just to weld that one joint. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's a great, I, I think the, the idea here of really noticing that, all right, it's a renovation and then an addition and sort of how that follows one after the other. Like you got to keep in consistent with that is really a key takeaway. And then everything else is just sort of working it out. Right.